Okay. Okay. Now you can type your attendance. Okay, shall we start? Yes. Where did we stop in the last class? I think we are discussing that hormones, isn't it? In the last class, we were discussing about hormones. Miss, we do that with the yes. Up to which one? I think fourth one. Fourth oh. one is over. Yes. Now we want to continue the fifth one. Okay. Before that, what is a hormone? What is a hormone? Same spelling yes. and say pronunciation and different meaning. Yes. Words with the same spelling and pronunciation, but there will be change in the meaning. Okay. Is it clear? Hormones. We had already discussed that hormones are type of words which have same spelling and same pronunciation. But meanings will be different. They have different meanings. Okay. Now we want to continue the fifth question. David looked smart in his new blue shirt. Isn't it? Miss, okay. we complete that one also. We need to... Okay. okay, now we want to continue our sixth one, isn't it? Yes. Uh, sixth one, the bank instructed its staff to take special care of the elderly customers. Then you have, you can see, the portrait showed the king seated on his throne with a golden staff in his hand. Miss. Okay, Anne Maria. Fifth question, the B on the bar, Miss. Bruni is smart enough to do his, this work efficiently. That is intelligent. You can write there intelligent. Meaning of that smart is intelligent. I-N-T-E-L-L-I-G-E-N-T. -E -E intelligent. Okay. Is it clear? What was the meaning of the first one? David looked smart in his new blue shirt. That, what, what was the meaning of that smart? Attractive. Attractive. Impressive in appearance. Yes, attractive, comma, impressive in appearance. That was the meaning. Then sixth one, the bank instructed its staff to take special care of the elderly customers. What will be the meaning of the staff here in this sixth one? A, a question. Staff. 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 We can say that in an organization there will be staff, isn't it? Like that, we can see a bank instructed its staff. Bank is an organization, isn't it? So you can write there all the employees, all the employees. E M P L O Y E E S, employees. E M P L O Y E E S. 
all the employees of an organization in a we can say that all the employees of an organization is the meaning of staff in schools there will be teaching staff and non teaching staff isn't it teachers are the teaching staff and accountant like that they are the non teaching staff that staff is mentioned here all the employees in an organization okay is it clear meaning of the word staff yes then there is one more meaning for the word staff the portrait showed the king seated on his throne with a golden staff in his hand this staff we have already studied this staff in our previous lesson the story of saptarishis in the story of saptarishis you are familiar with the word staff there is a staff in the hands of uh, i think lord indra to miss ring not ring long stick okay stick you can write there a long stick a long stick serving s e r v i n g serving as a symbol of authority a long stick serving as a symbol of authority okay got it symbol of authority a u t h o r i t y authority or authority means power okay symbol of power symbol of authority uh, i will read it once more a long stick serving as a symbol of authority okay is it clear next one seventh one there will be an article on munshi premchand in the next issue of our school magazine next sentence the chief guest is going to speak on the issue of climate change you can see the same word issue issue in two contexts that means two different meaning for the same word part 20 part which one issue part yes first one part issue yes. part edition we can say that edition edition of a magazine part is uh, that is right and maria you can write a an edition of a magazine an edition of a magazine an edition of a magazine or a journal j o u r n a l journal j o u r n a l journal published 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 at regular intervals miss okay an edition of a magazine edition e d i t i o n edition of a magazine or a journal j o u r n a l journal published at p u b l i s h e d published published at regular intervals regular r r e g u l a r regular r e g u l a r regular intervals i n t e r v a l s okay shown is it okay yes next one b the chief guest is going to speak on the issue of climate change subject yes we can say subject Uh, you can write there a matter of importance a matter of importance subject is also right very good anmaria 
a matter of importance this importance or no importance i m p o r t a n c e an important subject a matter of importance you can write a, a matter of importance okay is it clear then next one eighth one ramida has deposited the money in her account at a bank then next one in the book the author presents an interesting account of his childhood childhood days account in the case of bank there is an account isn't it yes uh, we can say that an arrangement with a bank that allows you to deposit your money with it an account okay you can write there an arrangement an arrangement with a bank with a bank with a bank that allows you to deposit your that allows you to deposit your money with it deposit your money with it okay i will read it once more an arrangement with a bank that allows you to deposit your money with it okay miss let's see one story uh, account nu parna story uh, and oral or written description of events description of events okay you can write the meaning an oral or second one an oral or written an oral or written description of events faith why are you late മിസ് ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ കേറിയത് ഇപ്പോഴും കേറിയിട്ട് കണക്റ്റിംഗ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് കാണിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുവായിരുന്നു ഓഡിയോ കണക്ട് വന്നില്ല ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ നൗ വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ദ വൊക്കാബുലറി ആക്ടിവിറ്റി വി ഹാവ് കംപ്ലീറ്റഡ് അപ് ടു ദ എയ്റ്റ് വൺ ഓക്കെ ഫേത് സോ യു ഷുഡ് വാച്ച് വെൻ ഐ പുട്ട് ദ യൂട്യൂബ് ലിങ്ക് ഓക്കെ ദൻ റൈറ്റ് ഓൾ ദ ആൻസേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ യെസ് അതേഴ്സ് can i repeat it once more anybody no dia are you okay yes yes okay so then next one listening uh, faith page number 43 okay listening b b onnu da parayavo b an oral or written oral o r a l oral oral means speaking okay an oral or written description of events an oral or written description of events okay faith is it okay sorry shawn is it okay yes then next one listening listen to your teacher read out a passage in class then fill in the blanks okay the question is listen to your teacher read out a passage in class then fill in the blanks uh, so you should turn your page yes page number 119 page number 119 okay did you take that 
पेज नंबर 119 यस प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली दैट इज डेविड विजिट इज ऑन आई लुक बैक वंस मोर आई सी माय सेल्फ डेविड कॉपरफील्ड विद एग्नेस एट माय साइड i see our children and our friends are around us i see my aunt in stronger spectacles an old woman of 80 years and more but upright yet and a steady walker of 6 miles at a stretch in winter weather always with her here comes pegotty my good old nurse likewise in spectacles working at his cha- chambers in the temple with a busy aspect i see my dear old traddy his table is covered with a thick p- piles of papers and i say as i look around me if sophie were your clerk now traddy she would have enough to do you may say that my dear copperfield but those were capital days too in holborn court were they not we walk away arm in arm i am going to have a family dinner with the traddles it is sophie's birthday and on our road traddles discourses to me of the good fortune he has enjoyed okay this is the text for you and here you should fill in the blanks fill in the blanks you double according to the text given in this page first one in her old age david copperfield's aunt needed more powerful dash more powerful spectacles yes spectacles you can write there spectacles in her old age david copperfield's aunt needed more powerful spectacles s p e c t a c l e s spectacles okay spectacles s p e c t a c l e s but she could still walk dash miles at a stretch 6 yes 6 miles at a stretch you can write there 6 s i x 6 then second one shall we move to the second one first one is clear okay second one the good old nurse dash is still with david's aunt pegotty yes pegotty name of that old nurse is pegotty p e g g o t t y the good old nurse pegotty is still with david's aunt you can write there pegotty okay shall we move to the next one third one david sees his dear old friend dash working at his chambers in the temple busy traddles yes traddles name of that friend is traddles t r a d d l e s traddles t r a d d l e s traddles please write there traddles okay is it clear is then next one fourth one if traddles clerk dash were still with him she would have enough to do sophie yes. sophie s o p h y sophie if traddles clerk sophie were still with him she would have enough to do that is sophie then next one fifth one david is going to have a family dash family dinner dinner d i n n e r dinner david is going to have a family dinner with dash 
David is going to have a family dinner with the Traddles. Next one, sixth one. It is Dash's birthday. Sophie's. It is Sophie's birthday. S O P H Y apostrophe L. Sophie's birthday. It is Sophie's birthday. Okay. Is it clear? I will read it once more. First one, spectacles. Then six. Okay. Second one, pegoti. Third one, straddles. Fourth one, Sophie. And fifth one, dinner, straddles. Then last one, sixth one, Sophie. Okay. Did you write all these? Dia, Miss last one, last one Sophie, S O P H Y Sophie. Okay. Then we can move to our next activity, writing. Okay. And now you are so lazy in submitting your notes and homeworks. I didn't get any of your homeworks, homeworks or notes. Why don't you submit your notes? Are you writing your notes? This random questions to put it here. Okay. After that, you should send your notes to my personal WhatsApp number. Okay. Don't be lazy. Okay. Then next activity, writing. Use the outline given below to write a short story. Give a suitable title to your story. Now, you want to develop a short story from this point. You can see some points here. Okay. First point is aching. Then unhappy. Wanted more lunch. More riches. More rare treasures. Met a farmer singing, very happy. I have everything I need. House to live in, food to eat, time to enjoy life. King learned a lesson. He too hard enough, but did not know how to be satisfied. Okay, this is an outline for the story. You should develop a short story from this outline. Okay, you can... Develop a short story from this. That is a king. So we can say that there was a king. Once there lived a king. You can write according to your view. Okay. You should develop a story. Then unhappy. We can say that the king was unhappy. The king was unhappy. He wanted more land. Then we can say that he wanted more lunch. Like that you can develop this story in your own words. From this outline, we know the summary of the story. Okay. So you should develop this story in your own words. Can you do this as a homework? You should submit your homework before next Friday. This homework. Okay, short story. Don't forget. Don't be lazy. It's an easy question. You can develop a story from this hint. Okay. Is it okay? I think now you know the storyline of this story, isn't it? By reading these hints, you can easily understand the what the story is about. Okay. So you should develop this small hints into a sentence and 
it will be a short story then it will be a short story okay don't forget submit your story before next friday one week is there for you so you should submit it before next friday and we want to conduct an exam also wednesday are you ready for an exam on wednesday next wednesday uh there will be two lessons an interview with the milka singh and song song is a short poem okay an interview with milka singh and song these are the two lessons for your exam the exam will be on wednesday at 6:30 pm 6:30 okay yes so then now we want to move to our next lesson that is wind we want to move a little bit faster because uh, in august sorry next month you will have your periodic exam isn't it yes so we want to move little bit faster next lesson is wind wind this is a poem written by subramanya subramanya bharati subramanya bharati and this is a this is a poem actually translated from tamil the original author is ak ramanujan okay this is a this is, this was a this was a tamil poem and to english this poem was translated by subramanya bharati okay actually this uh, poem by ak ramanujan sorry Uh, this this is a poem written by subramanya bharati in tamil and this poem is translated from tamil by ak ramanujan ak ramanujan is the person who translated this tamil poem into english okay is it clear subramanya bharati is the actual author and he is a tamil author and this uh, tamil poem is translated into english by A K Ramanujan. You can see the profile of page number. Turn your page. Yes, Subramanya Bharati. You can see the profile of Subramanya Bharati. Subramanya Bharati is the actual uh, writer. Miss page number. Page number one hundred and forty-eight. One hundred and forty-eight. Okay, uh, Subramanya Bharati was a Tamil poet, scholar, freedom fighter, and social reformer. Bharati took up the cause of India's freedom through his poems and journalism. To escape arrest by the British, Bharati fled to the French colony Pondicherry, where he continues continued his political and literary work. Bharati exerted a huge influence on modern Tamil poetry by introducing new themes like. Uh, Uh, freedom and emancipation of women and also by using a, a symbol poetic style this is a short profile of subramanya bharati he was a tamil poet scholar and freedom fighter okay and here we are going to study a poem by subramanya bharati but the poem is actually written in tamil and this uh, tamil poem is translated into english by ak ramanujan okay yes now we can read our poem that is wind wind come softly don't break the shutters of the windows don't scatter the papers don't throw, uh, throw down the book on the shelf there look what you did you threw them all down you tore the pages of the books you brought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at weakling frail uh, crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives crumbling hearts the wind god winnows and crushes them all he won't do the what you tell him so come let's build strong homes let's join the doors family practice to firm the body make the heart stead fast fast Do this, and the wind will be friends with us. 
the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day okay what did you understood from this poem any idea we can say that this poem is about which about wind, whom? wind. from the title itself we can say that this poem is about wind okay then then any other points while reading the poem uh, did you get any idea you can share your ideas wind is very friendly okay at last we can say that we can make friendship with the wind okay that's a point we can make friendship with the wind then any other points no and ah oh, okay and maria hmm yes we can see the characteristics of wind in this poem isn't it specialties of wind okay okay now let's explain it please listen wind comes softly here the speaker speaker says to wind that wind comes softly please come softly wind okay wind comes softly the author the speaker says that wind comes uh, softly don't break the shutters of the windows then he says that wind don't break the shutters shutters of the windows shutters uh, means panels panels of the windows janalin de chill ok undavulle adonnu pottikirunnu windinodu parayunnadanu okay don't break the shutters of the windows then the poet says that don't scatter the papers scatter means separate during the time of wind there will be chances for flying the papers okay paper so the poet says that don't scatter the papers don't separate the papers don't separate the papers that is put in a bundle or put in a table okay don't separate the papers don't throw the, down the books on the shelf don't throw down the books on the shelf that means there are some books in the shelf and don't throw down don't put down the uh, books in that shelf okay these are the requests by the author by the speaker to wind don't break the shutters of window then the poet says that don't scatter the papers then don't throw down the books on the shelf okay then there look at what you did you threw or uh, you threw them all down you tore the pages of the books you brought rain again but what here you can see but what did the wind done the wind had done he the wind threw them all down threw the books all down okay poet request not to do that but the wind does all these things okay is it clear poet says that not to do this type of things but the wind does all these things you tore the pages of the books tore means break here ga nu varile the wind tore the pages of books that means the wind destroyed the pages of books you brought rain again and this wind brought rain again there was no wind but uh, accompanying with the wind there came the rain also okay and then wind rain ne kuda kondu vannu is it clear yes you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings poking fun at weaklings you can see the meaning poking fun at weaklings making fun of and destroying anything that is not strong enough to withstand it that means this 
this uh, uh, here the wind is making poking panna to weakling destroys the things that are weak the wind makes destruction to the weak things okay strong allathadine okke endanu ee wind nashippikkuvana cheynadu adanu ivide point parayunnathu avare kaliyaakuna reethil strong allathavare kaliyaakuna reethil endu cheynu wind ave ella nashippikkunu okay you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings that means the wind is very clever to poke making fun at the weak things weaklings means weak things that is not able to overcome the wind okay the things that is not uh, able to overcome the wind frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives crumbling hearts the wind god winnows and crushes them all okay here you can see the names of the weak things okay weak things frail crumbling houses frail means weak okay weak crumbling Crum crumbling means unfirm unfirm is not strong weak not strong houses the wind destroys the houses which are not strong is it clear yes then uh, next one is crumbling doors crumbling doors means not strong doors not firm doors okay and then strong allatha veedugal adey pole door gal idokke aaru nashippikunu the wind destroys all these things okay crumbling rafters crumbling rafters did you know the meaning of rafter wooden sticks in roof roof tile there will be wooden sticks in houses with the roof uh, roof tile odita veedinte mollu kambugal undavulle മേൽക്കൂരാ അതിനെന്താ നമ്മൾ പറയുന്നത് കഴുക്കോൽ എന്നൊക്കെ പറയില്ലേ ഈ ഓട് ഇങ്ങനെ വെക്കുന്ന ആ യെസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റാഫ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ക്രംബ്ലിങ് റാഫ്റ്റേഴ്സ് വീക്ക് ആയിട്ടുള്ള റാഫ്റ്റേഴ്സിനെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഈ വിൻഡ് സ്ട്രോങ് ആയിട്ട് വിൻഡ് കാറ്റ് വീശുമ്പോ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും അതൊക്കെ പോവൂലേ വലിയ കാറ്റാണെങ്കിൽ വീടൊക്കെ നിലം പൊത്തി എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞ് നമ്മൾ ന്യൂസ് കാണാറില്ലേ അത് തന്നെ സംഭവം ഓക്കെ ക്രംബ്ലിങ് റാഫ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ദെൻ ക്രംബ്ലിങ് ഗുഡ് yes crumbling wood means wood weak aitla wood weak wood okay uh, not strong wood the wind destroys wood crumbling bodies uh, then crumbling lives crumbling hearts that means the mind of a person or heart of a person or lives uh, that is a wind can destroy even the life of a person okay these all are the things that is destroyed by the winds frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives and cr uh, crumbling hearts the wind god winnows and crushes them all winnows means blows through them yes this wind uh, god blows over all these things and destroys all these things okay crushes here means destroys the wind god destroys blow over all these things and destroys okay now our class is going to end we can continue our lesson in our next period okay thank you okay thank you bye